Hey everyone, here are some twin flame messages and guidance for you. So the negative, toxic, controlling, manipulative karmic partners have had the upper hand for a little while now for some of you, for a lot of you. It's the most common karmic scenario. Um, but did you know that Saturn is going direct this weekend or has and Saturn going direct really represents a lot of karmic cycles coming to an end and the honestly borderline explosive eclipse gateway in October was really bringing about a lot of wake up calls and epiphanies for a lot of divine masculines and and also for divine feminines in terms of processing and fully healing some wounds that have been strongly affecting them even subconsciously. So I really feel like um, the combination of, honestly, there's been a lot the last three months that Spirit has really been using in conjunction together. So I really feel like the combination of everything, but especially the Eclipse Gateway and then going into Saturn turning direct and now 1111 portal next weekend, it's all been helping to shake things up in these karmic situations to help those that are ready to finally bring them to an end, to finally put the nail in the coffin and really like bring it to an end. You know, a lot of these situations, a big part of the struggle has been due to financial constraints. And look at this woman, she's holding the coin, she has control. So this is a big reason why the, the divine masculines have had trouble breaking free because the these karmics have either had the upper hand financially so that they couldn't break free because um, they're dependent financially on these karmics or that's the way that their finances are tied together sometimes in businesses together or just in bank accounts and whatnot so that has been a difficulty for these masculines to deal with but you are always on their mind you are always there just internally guiding them and inspiring them and giving them something to work towards um, and to not give up, to keep going, to keep persevering. Look at this butterfly. I never even noticed this butterfly on this card before. Like you are the inspiration for their transformation and you're helping them get through it, whether or not they're in communication with you. You are always on their mind. Don't doubt that, okay? Now you are helping to inspire them to get through this storm. Like this is going to be a massive <sighs> struggle, to get out of these karmic situations because these karmics they're not going to let go easy they're not going to walk away easily you know they they don't find happiness the same ways that we do their form of happiness is controlling the masculines and to be honest like they're also dealing with um, partial possessions and all sorts of things the dark is using them to cause these problems for the divine masculines to prevent twin flames from coming into union this is a thing. People don't realize this. I've actually got really upset on behalf of a client recently who spirit in informed me to tell her that her twin committed suicide because of a demonic attachment, that the, the demon basically um, practically forced him to do it. It was a combination of partial possession and like threatening him, threatening her and the kids until he like succumbed to it and killed himself and she goes online looking up information about spiritual warfare and she has people telling her that it's not that that's not true and that twins don't deal with spiritual warfare or things like that because what supposedly twins are um, above it and they're not supposed to like what did, that doesn't even make logical sense because the dark is trying to prevent twin flames from coming into union. Twin flames are not above it. Twin flames are the most under attack. So please educate yourselves if you don't already know this information because spiritual warfare is extremely common and 50% of twin flames are dealing with it. And that even can include these karmic partners being led by dark evil spirits and entities and even having partial possessions that are controlling them and and making them do things that they might not choose to do on their own like there's a lot more to it than that and why the karmics are the way they are why they do these things but that is one factor okay so we need to take it seriously we need to understand that spiritual warfare is a part of 
excuse me, many cases, 50% of twin flames deal with spiritual warfare and it must be defeated. And it really is life or death. Like I just told you, I have a client whose twin flame committed suicide because of spiritual warfare. So yes, it is serious. Yes, it needs to be dealt with. Okay. But as far as these karma situations go, the masculines are being guided to do what they have to do to stand up to them, to get through this storm, (laughs) but to come out the other side. They are going to end these karmic cycles. Some of them are going to do it now as they've gotten through these epiphanies and these significant astrological events lately that are giving them the strength to do so. And some of them are going to do it later, but they are going to do it. Right now, you need to just take time to focus on self-care, self-love, and meditate and focus on connecting with your spirit guides and your own healing process. Focus on being the alchemist of your life and learning how to manifest with spirit to create the life that is right for you, that is meant for you, and to um, focus on developing your own psychic gifts and abilities and healing abilities and seeing where that leads you because we all have our own spiritual soul pur- soul purpose paths that we're meant to follow as well. So I can 100% guarantee you that spirit is trying to guide you down that as well. That's where you need to put your focus right now and being the alchemist of your life, creating the life that is truly meant for you. Spirit is working on the divine masculines. Well, actually, no, with everybody on their solar plexus chakra. For the masculines, it's about defeating the, these karmic cycles and walking away from these karmic situations. For the feminines, it is about um, following your life purpose paths, having the courage and strength to do that. Spirit is also working on healing heart chakra wounds that may be holding some of some twins back from each other because of the pain and difficulties that you've been through having walls up around your hearts, especially with the masculines um, who have dealt with a lot of trauma. They don't really not necessarily want to acknowledge it, but they have. And they have a lot of heart chakra and sacral chakra healing that in order to be able to be vulnerable with their divine feminines and really, it's not that they don't want to open their hearts to them, but it's fear. They have fear of um, getting hurt as well. They have fear that the divine feminines will realize one day that they're not worth it because of all of the difficulties that they've been through because twin flames do go through difficult periods. You know, you have those who say, no, twin flames don't go through difficult periods. It's instantly perfect. No, it's not instantly perfect. It might be for some who are twin flame masters or who are monadic twin souls who have easier processes, but for twin rays and for um, twin flames, They have harder processes because there's so many deep buried wounds that need to be healed and spiritual warfare and all of these things. And the masculines do usually have um, self-worth wounds and abandonment wounds. And they usually have avoidant attachment disorder while the feminine has um, anxious ambivalent attachment disorder. And all of these things create struggles that that just need a lot of healing and a lot of inner child wounds and past life trauma healing. So all of that needs to occur to bring down those walls and to be able to be vulnerable with each other and start building that emotional intimacy. But they're working on it. The spirit is working on this with them and the masculines are trying to achieve that even if it's a slow process for them, but they are going, they want to and are going to come back to their feminines and be ready to make that offer for that fresh start and new beginning um, from a solid stable place once they have achieved what they need to and felt strong um, and independent even. One part of the twin flame journey is teaching both twins to be completely self-reliant and not need each other so that when they come together is a healthy interdependence and it is not a codependency on each other, okay? So they will come back when they're ready, when they're stable and they feel like they have something to offer and you are going to have that spark of romance and romantic union finally and you are going to come together and have that loving caring harmonious relationship with healthy interdependence just like I said so you're going to get there some of you are ready to now it's in the process of coming together and some of you might still have some time to go but it is going to happen trust and believe in it okay